Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to achieve that compressed VHS look using the output properties. And then we will apply a VHS overlay on top of our compressed render, which will finalize that VHS aesthetic. This video is part of my tutorial series on how to model and texture a creepy hallway. But don't worry, you can apply this tutorial to any of your renders in Eevee or even Cycles. You can also download the entire project file, including two bonus scenes where a creature jump scares the camera and a scene where the creature chases you down the hallway. Alright, let's dive into the tutorial and level up your 3D art skills. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to achieve that compressed VHS look using the output properties. We're going to first change the resolution. So change the resolution to 640 by 480. This achieves that box aspect ratio that you see in those VHS style found footage videos. Checkmark render region and crop to render region. Make sure the frame rate is on 30 FPS. Scroll down and we're going to change the file format to FFmpeg video. Open up the encoding tab right here. Change the container to MP4. The video codec is going to be H.264. We're going to change the output quality to constant bitrate. The bitrate is going to be set to 1000 and the maximum will be set to 1500. Reducing the bitrate will simulate that reduced data rate of a VHS look. We also want to change the keyframe interval to 2. Changing it to 2 will allow for more frame dependencies, mimicking that analog look. Okay, now just go find a place to save your video file. I'm going to save it right here in my Haunted Hallway Clips folder. Let me quickly just change this name to Haunted Hallway. Okay, we're done with the output properties. Now go to the Render Properties, scroll all the way down, and under Color Management right here, you want to change the view transform and make sure it's on standard. Then we can go ahead and enable motion blur. We can keep the shutter at 0.5, which gives it a more subtle motion blur, or you can change it to 0.7, which is closer to the VHS look. For the render samples, I'll keep it at 64. Let's go back to the output properties and I want to mention something about the frame rate. You can also use 29.97 FPS. Most VHS tapes in regions like the US and Japan were recorded at 29.97 FPS. So if you want 100% accuracy to the VHS look, you can go with this frame rate right here. But 30 works just fine as well. Okay, let me mention something about the lights here. So you can see that I left them here overexposed. You can see that they're clipping and super bright. And I did that on purpose because usually in VHS footage, the lights in the VHS footage are overexposed. And this is due to the low dynamic range of the analog video. So it's a good idea to usually have your lights overexposed like this. But if you want to soften it up, you can just select the light here and then you can increase the radius, which will soften the light but I recommend keeping it overexposed for that VHS look. Also, if you want to render this out in cycles for a little more realism, you can do that. But honestly, Eevee works just fine. But again, let me just show you what it looks like in cycles. So I'll switch to cycles. I'll switch the device to GPU, highly recommended for faster rendering. And then I will just go into rendered mode and it'll be a little slower because cycles, you know, requires a lot more computing power but uh, I recommend turning off all of these area lights at the top here. So I would just turn all the area lights off at the top because for some reason in cycles, it's just a lot more brighter, probably because there is more light bounces. So if I play, you, you can see that this is what it looks like in cycles. But again, Eevee works just fine. So depending on your scene, if you do decide to render this out in cycles, just make sure you lower the max samples to something like 512. And then we could, we don't need to use denoise unless you want to, but instead we could go to the advanced settings right here and turn on the seed option by changing the seed to one and then clicking on this clock, which will enable some random noise patterns on your rendered animation. And then let's go back into solid mode and we can see how fast to render. So just you can do a quick test render by hitting render image 
and you know there, it renders out pretty fast for me that took like two seconds and this is the type of image you get but again for this tutorial and for this scene i'm going to be sticking to eevee okay one last thing i forgot to mention if you look at your wall here you can notice that the edges here are razor sharp now in real life walls do not have razor sharp edges like this they usually have a slight bevel to them. So you can add that by going to the modifiers and adding a bevel modifier. Now, this is obviously too much. So I'm going to change the amount to 0.006 and I'll change the segments to two. Okay, now we can go ahead and hit render animation. And as you can see, it's rendering really fast. Once it's done rendering, we can go to this plus icon here and open up the video editor. Click on add go to movie and search for the render that you just saved in your folder. Mine is right here. I called it haunted hallway. Just hit add movie strip. And there you go. If you hit play, you can see it has that compressed VHS look with some pixelated artifacts, which is the exact look that I was going for. Now to take this a step further, we can also add another VHS filter over this video. I'll leave a link in the description for the same video filter that I'm going to use. So go ahead and download that and save it into your folder. Once you have it saved, go to add, click on movie again. So this is the VHS filter that I just provided you. Go ahead and add that into your video sequencer. Okay, we don't need the audio file. So you can just click this green part right here and hit X to delete it. Click on your VHS filter, go to the transform and we'll just scale it on the Y axis and make sure it fills the frame. Okay, under the compositing, change the blend mode to add. Then click on your VHS filter, right click, copy. Then you can just go to where it ends and then just hit paste. And that's pretty much it. You have this VHS filter look over your footage. If you want, you can also slightly increase the saturation of your original clip. Just click on your original rendered animation, go down to color, and then you can increase the saturation right here. I'm gonna do a value of 1.2. Okay, now to avoid double compression of this video, since we're exporting it again, we want to adjust the settings here on the output properties. So we're gonna keep it at FFmpeg video. We're also gonna keep the container at MP4. We'll change the output quality to perceptually lossless. Okay, and then you can just change this to Haunted Hallway VHS. And then make sure Render Region and Crop to Render Region is not checked. So make sure you uncheck those and then hit Render Animation. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future Blender tutorials. And hey, if you want to grab the finished blend file from this tutorial, along with some exclusive perks, you can find it all on my Patreon. So consider becoming a member and supporting me over there as well. Until next time, it's been your boy, only RJ. Peace.